What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plains, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? I am Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure? You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... Downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greenie can never stop digging until he accepts what's buried. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> no. Is that no. Thanos? <laughs> we got a runner. After him, Spongebob! <laughs> Drax! Please be something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! What a thrill! Like a hot knife! About time! <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie! Don't suppose you want to lend a hand! You fight a phantom. Fear given form. It is a futile foray. That's this way. We're gonna be outnumbered. It's like he can't be killed. As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't. You're giving him the poor Greenie's obsession. Only by letting go can you move on. It is a destined defeat. Whose side are you on? Okay, maybe this isn't as simple as I thought. Oh, it's simple. Keep shooting! Fortune favors failure. Beard butts yakking more nonsense. I don't know. What else are we supposed to do? I can't! Peter? Whoa! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why I couldn't see! Oh. <sighs> uh. Hey! We ain't dead! Mantis, I think we did... something. But I don't see Drax. <laughs> oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! <laughs> hey, that's cheating! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax.
These walls are all rings, just like the gravestones. Is all this Katathian writing? Language is a literal labyrinth. You can read it, can't you? Drax! Hell the... It doesn't matter! Get him! There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. Damn it! I can hear you. You play pawns on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, huh? you can your friend me. is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of- There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! I guess we're not in Kansas anymore. What the flock are those? Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! that I might prize our passage. Peter! Well, you get all those nests. Clint, you wretch. Pretty sure that's a no. And two! Keep at it! Ha! Crudify a fruit! We're working on... I have purchase! Prepare to be pulled within! Hold on to your tails! <laughs> Don't you dare! I ain't cleaning what gets out of my car! Everyone all right? Define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that... Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. You too certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. I am Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. All right, seek and destroy, just like last time. Make haste. The maw means to snap shut. I cannot contain it. You think these things were in us too? Try not to think about that. Reach the barrier while these denizens defy me. Working on it. Dead bug. We're working on. 
Endless entropy. Cease this charade! Cover your eye holes! Not good. I am Groot. Flarkin' nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping, hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a- There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Will you not leave me be? You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I've ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. And it ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I 
I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Your quill. Your child is in danger, if her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Time to go. Hey, Goldie Braun! Want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Look. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting. Feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day, my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? 
I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone. Chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Her echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... Oh, what's going Flark. on? Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone.